Welcome back. Well, there's been a spike in the number of snake attacks across the country, with experts warning people to be on high alert. Snake catcher Mark Pelly joins us now from Melbourne. Mark, good morning to you. How are you? Good morning. How are you going today? OK, so four people were bitten in 24 hours of Victoria. There's a real cause for alarm at this time of year, isn't there? Yes, definitely. Snake numbers are actually increasing and snakes in Melbourne are extremely venomous. So it's very important that you don't go near them whatsoever because you put your life at risk. So in those cases in Victoria, what type of snake were they? Uh, I didn't actually read what they, they were, but I know they're either most likely an either eastern brown or an eastern tiger snake that bit someone. And they're, they're the most common snakes. And, and, and they're both deadly, aren't they? That's correct. The eastern tiger snake is the fifth most venomous snake in the world, and the eastern brown snake is the second most venomous snake in I'm the world. I'm getting freaked out just watching this vision. Mm. Uh, what should you do um, if you come across a snake? So the most important thing if you see a snake is to leave it alone, is to back, it away, back away from it. Don't try to capture it and don't try to kill it, because the moment you try to handle it is when it's going to try to bite you. If you leave snakes alone, they'll leave you alone. So step back, keep pets and children away from the situation, and call your closest snake catcher. Follow their instructions immediately on the phone. So th it is typical behaviour at this time of year, isn't it? They're coming out of hibernation. Where are they likely? What are they looking for? Where are they likely to be found in in that domestic setting? So the most common place that I'm finding snakes is in Melbourne backyards or inside the home. I've also pulled snakes out of factories, businesses, schools, kindergartens. So essentially, wow. wherever we live, work, and go to school is where we're finding snakes. Well, what if you're bitten by one? If you're ever bitten by a snake, move away from it. Again, don't try to capture it, don't try to kill it. Immediately call triple zero and follow their instructions. Um, if you're able to do so, apply a pressure immobilization bandage. That's where you bandage the entire limb and you need to stay very still. Call your closest snake catcher and follow their instructions so that way the snake catcher can come out and capture the snake. So just to clarify, bandage the entire limb as opposed to above the bite, which is what I think used to be the old practice. That's correct. We've updated the first aid guidelines where you start just above the nails um, on your arm, for example, and you bandage all the way up to the shoulder. And so that way the entire limb is immobile and the venom slows down. All right. Sounds like you've got your work cut out, Mark. We appreciate the advice this morning. Thank you very much. Thanks very much.